It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I am Chad. I'm Sarah. And we have something special again. Yay! More special stuff. More special. This is the Knob Creek 25th Anniversary Edition. Single barrel. Single barrel. Barrel strength as well. Unfiltered. Unfiltered. Wow. 25 years of Knob Creek. This is something special here. Folks. Almost as many years as I've been alive. Almost. I was two, and they were like, you know, we should start making Knob Creek. So when she's in her 20s, she can drink some she can, Yeah, she can drink that Knob And Creek. I was like, thank you. Thank you for that. So, uh, in 1992, I'll just read off the card like I'm... 1992. 1992. Booker No, Booker no introduced the world to Knob Creek bourbon, a pre-prohibition style bourbon created to reflect the full flavor, strength, and care that defined it. The whiskeys of this era. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Era. 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 Honoring decades of the same care and craftsmanship, Booker's son and seventh generation master distiller, Fred No, Fred. is proud to, re to release Knob Creek 25th anniversary, mm -hmm. a limited edition, unfiltered, and cast strength, single barrel, Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. That's a lot it's of a things. Mouthful. <laughs> Personally selected to be the truest expression of Knob Creek. Side B. <laughs> Flip tape over. Fred combed our rack houses, looking for just the right barrels of this special edition bourbon, selecting only those that featured the most robust, mature flavor. Available in limited quantities, each bottle celebrates the no family tradition of crafting the highest quality bourbon now and for decades to come. And then it says an asterisk. Knob Creek 25th Anniversary Limited Edition is quality screen to remove only pieces of charred barrel wood from the liquid. So very limited filtering is what it means by unfiltering. Obviously you have to get the, the barrel chunks out of there, but no chill filtering, no charcoal filtering. It's One. Minimal. This looks like a bookmark and I would use it as a bookmark. Because what else are you going to do with it? I mean, is there a two? stick it back in there. Two. There's two. His signature is all over the place. Like it's on the bookmark. It's on the little glass thing. Bucket. Goes. It's supposed to be like glass. I was giving them some extra credit. Okay. And three, if you look at this little picture down here on the label, if you've ever seen him in person, it looks just like him. It does. Like whoever drew this with just black marker and just made like tiny little lines to make a human face. Did a really good job because it looks just like it. They they just scanned took it? his picture. No, 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 no. My way the magic is better. Way out of no, it. don't. They, they took his picture. They took it into Photoshop. They did a filter. Make it like a drawing. Bing, bing, boom. Sorry. My way is way better. Why right. do you have to ruin things? I don't know. So this is 122.5. And if you look at the writing, either Fred wrote this himself, or someone that was really drunk, or a fifth grader. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. And they picked blue pen, like everything on here is black and silver and so it was like, yes, blue pen. I'll write in this blue pen. Blue pen. Even though he signed up with the red one. Yes. Blue, blue is what we will go with. All we have are these stock 99 cent blue ball pens <laughs> and that's what we're going to write with. Oh jeez. It's fine. Yeah. Calm down. It's what's inside the accounts, right? We'll see. So... Another black seal. Though, that but it's those. easy. Yeah, theirs the is much easier because it's so got the tab. Easy. Look at this. Oh, it's so easy. I love it. Here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, that's satisfying. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah. Mm. All right, here we go. Lights first. Oh, thank you. What a gentleman. Yes. So this is uh, 13 years. Oh, that smells like it's gonna kick me in the face. Right. So what did you say? 122. 122.5. Oh yeah, it smells like it. it. Smells like it's gonna be like. <laughs> Barreled on May 13th, 2004. That's close to your birthday. It is close to my birthday. So it's a 13 year. Uh, how old were you? <laughs> <laughs> so it's a 13 year. <laughs> yes, and... it's a 13 year. Oh. It's super dark. Look how dark it is. That smells great. This is one I would be wear, like putting your nose like super up in it because you're gonna get. No, oh, definitely open the mouth. Yeah. Purse this the is lips. A, I would go into it slowly because um, it's gonna hit you. Hmm. No, I get a lot of a lot of vanilla. Me too, and it smells honestly like crisp. 
Mm-hmm. If that makes any sense, like um, if they made a bourbon scented laundry detergent, it would smell like this. Like I feel like I'm smelling fresh linens that were also covered in bourbon. <laughs> Which sounds amazing. Why hasn't someone done that? I would, I love, would love to my sleep. sheets to smell like <laughs> yes. bourbon. Sometimes they do anyway. All right, I'm gonna go For ahead. Different and reasons. Patent pending on patent that. Pending. Okay. So, Don't right. even try. I'm already on it. <laughs> I mean, it has a really familiar. I mean, the this old is more <laughs> the old familiar. This is more like a like a Booker's. It is. It is a smell. bordering on that Booker's smell. Which makes sense. Same family. Yeah. Alright. I wanna taste it. Whoa! Dude, what? <laughs> Hey-oh! Oh, still going. Yeah, it's, oh, it's still going. Still going. I'll tell you when it stops. Let's tell them when it stops. Whoa. Well. Oh, okay. Still going. I'm gonna need another, are you tracking? We're tracking. We're tracking. And we're live. And we're live. <laughs> the bourbon radar. It's a it's a bourbon car chase. The forecast. Down the esophagus. Yeah. Um, it's tapering off. Not for 122. Not a whole lot of brown on the tongue. On the first, I think I got it a little on my lips, and I, my lips are a little bit chapped. So I don't know if that's why I got it a little bit more. Um, so I'm gonna need another taste before I say anything. Wow. It's like a caramelized brown sugar. Yeah. And some spice and some. There's a deeper, richer it's like flavor a vanilla, that I can't. That vanilla I can't, extract. Like a. Yeah, but there's something in there that's deeper than that that I can't really put my finger on. And it's like. It's that like. Old library with leather chairs and. Yeah. You know, like a cig- someone's been smoking cigars in there or something. Like, like I don't know uh, what that's called, but. A leather tobacco. It's very, like that deep, Richness. rich, yeah. yeah, yeah. And I, I can't put my finger on exactly the flavor, but if I closed my eyes, I would think I was in that room. Yeah. It, Just chilling next to a fire. Yeah, it tastes um, mature. I'm, I'm always near a fire. I don't know. <laughs> I'm always somehow near a fire. It tastes mature and experienced and educated. Oh yeah, this bourbon is knowledgeable and it knows what it's doing. Mm-hmm. It's trying to seduce you. It drinks bourbon library. and it knows things. And it is <laughs> bourbon and it knows things. This is delicious. It's oh my buttery. Gosh. It's buttery like it's on a biscuit. The first taste is you're you're like, oh, is it too hot? Is it too much? Is oh, it too crazy? It lifts you up. Is it burning? And then it lays you down. You gotta go to this. I told you it's trying to seduce you. Yeah. This bourbon is very seductive. Picks you up off your feet. But instead of spinning you, it just like laid you down on a bed of bourbon. Not roses, because it's not super fruity. It's really not. It's not like no, a, it's there not like is a four no, roses. It's not. There is no fruit. There is nothing. I don't. I mean, fig. I can get like some some fig, like some some Newton maybe. <laughs> is there some Newton? In is there? it Mr. Fig Newton that's doing the laying down? I don't. Yeah, Mr. <laughs> Newton, Isaac, is laying you down. It's a, it's a burnt, burnt fig, but not on like, it's not dark chocolate. It's like a, it's really that wood. It's that tobacco leather wood. I got my nose too far in there. (laughs) Sorry, we're getting there, folks. We're getting there. It's complex. It's very complex. That's for sure. It's, it's a mystery. It's the game of Clue in a bourbon. Who done it? Was it Mr. Plum? No, it's not Professor Plum. Come on, Professor give, it, Plum? give it more Sorry. credit than that. In the library? It was definitely in the with library. The lead pipe? Was it a lead pipe? No, it was with the candlestick. Okay, candlestick. But who? It wasn't Colonel Mustard. Who's the other guy in the green? Mr. Green. <laughs> wow. That, okay. I am impressed. I, so, am, I am impressed. You and I have been on a Knob Creek barrel pick where you get to taste bourbon straight out of the barrel, unfiltered. Non-proof down over 100, 120 proof, which is the normal Sorry. single barrel. So this is like tasting a barrel-proof bourbon on a Knob Creek pick and not having to proof it down to the 120 that you right. have to do. Right, so you have to do. 
and when you're on a pick, you're like, I want this, I want this, but it's like at 125, 127, this. and they have to prove it down. They take a little, they put so a little that's why water. you know you put water in it, and you're like, okay, I think this this is what it'll taste like when it's proofed down to 120. You try, but, but this, this lets you have it at that barrel strength. It gives it to you. Amazing. It gives it to you. Yes. It's pretty good. This is good. It right? knows what it's doing. I like this. I could keep going. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think if you've ever wanted to know what it's like to go on a barrel pick, this unfortunately is you won't get the options with that you would get with the barrel pick, but the closest <sighs> thing that you will get to it if you can't go on one is this. And that's what Ebnock Greek or Jibby. Yeah. Um, this is good. This is good. Um, Come in at around $140, I believe. It's it, up there. It's not inexpensive. No. But it is, I mean, it's the 25th anniversary. It's something to collect, something to drink, mm. and. And cherish. drink it with Shell. With Shell. It's open. I mean, what else are we going to do with it? <laughs> look at it. <laughs> we got enough bourbon to look at. Right. So you were asking me earlier, yes. my favorite bourbon of 2017. Yeah. I think at this rate, it's between the, this is tough. Ooh, guys, this is real tough. Real talk. This, the Michter's 10 single barrel, and the Booker's. Ah, uh, 2017 one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, the corn. And the rye, but the rye with water. Right with water, right, right, right. Yeah. I agree. If we're talking straight out of the bottle, the first three. And technically Two of that them came are... out last year. Well, but I didn't have it until this year. Agreed. And that's all that I care about. <laughs> sure. And it's early still. It is. That's what we should do for it's our New Year's episode this year. Our favorites. Uh -huh. A countdown. <gasps> <laughs> Ideas coming out. I was drinking bourbon. I love it. Anyway. For 140 bucks, it is a steep investment, but wow, this is tasty. If you don't ever foresee yourself being able to have the privilege of going on a Knob Creek barrel pick, this is the closest, if not better, option of going on mm -hmm. a barrel pick. And if you're not part of like a bourbon society or anything, you would have to split the cost of the barrel with your closest friends and family, which would be like... A lot. Thousands and thousands of dollars. <laughs> so in comparison, I would just get this. Pay the 140 just, bucks. Just get this. To get a cast strength Knob Creek that's also a 25th anniversary. Seal of approval. <sighs> yeah, stamp. Uh, approved. Approved. <laughs> Recommended. Recommended. We'll have to put it blind though against some other stuff and see how it comes out. For but sure. Initial taste from the first uncorking is amazing. We like it. We like it. All right. All right, Chad. Let's Thank call you, it a day. Let's call it a day. All right, thanks a lot, and until next time, drink more bourbon.